My name is Amit and in this video I am going to show you how to use Power Exchange for MongoDB to read and write data from MongoDB database. The agenda for this presentation is having a look on the basics of MongoDB, what are the features provided by Power Exchange for MongoDB and a demo mapping run demonstrating how to set up a simple mapping using Power Center to read data from MongoDB database. Now coming back to the question what MongoDB is. It is an open source database written in C++. It provides the scalability and performance power of NoSQL database as well as many of the features of traditional relational database. It provides document oriented storage and is schema-less. It has full featured indexes, queries and supports replication and high availability. We will see now the features provided by Power Exchange for MongoDB. Power Exchange for MongoDB provides bidirectional connectivity between Power Center and MongoDB database to extract and load data. We can use MongoDB table as source for reading the data or as a target to write the data. Power Center uses ODBC connectivity to perform these operations. We can perform sampling based on the data in the tables. It also supports features like nested documents, arrays and arrays of nested documents and reading writing documents as JSON. Now let us jump to a demo to see how to create a power center mapping to read from a MongoDB source. Please note that for this example power center server machine is running on Windows. First of all we need to create an ODBC DSN to be used for importing the collection metadata and reading the data during session runtime. Open the ODBC administrator and click on add. From the list of drivers displayed, select Informatica MongoDB ODBC driver and click on finish. Fill in the entries for DSN name. MongoDB host the port number and the database name. Now click on the schema definition. Here we can see a list of collection in the MongoDB database. For this demo I am selecting books we can use the rows in the table to sample the data to be imported in Power Center. We can custom define the number of rows considered for sampling based on requirement. We can also save the sampled metadata to database or on a file in the local disk. Now click on OK. It will prompt to write the column metadata to the database. Here we have selected the option to store the metadata in database. So I am selecting the option yes. Now click on OK. Now in the Power Center Designer we can use the DSN we have just created to import the metadata from MongoDB database. Click on sources, import from database, select the DSN we have created just now, so here we can see the list of tables in the MongoDB database that we have connected to. For this presentation, we are selecting the books table. Now we have imported the source definition for the books table. We can use this source to create a mapping.
now for this source we will create a target we can use the auto link option to connect all the corresponding ports for the sake of simplicity I am changing the target to a flat file now our mapping is complete we can save the mapping as we can see this mapping is valid now we will create a workflow where you, we can use this mapping we can select the mapping we have just created in power center designer tool and link the start task with the session let us create a connection object for our source that will connect to MongoDB for creating a connection object click on the connections tab and then select relational option here choose ODBC and create a new deviation. Provide a name for this connection object. Give the username and password. And provide the connect string. Here the connect string will be the name of the DSN that we have created to connect to the MongoDB database on PowerCenter server machine. After that click on OK. Now we can use the connection object and assign it to the source to read from MongoDB database. This completes our session configuration. We can apply the changes and save the workflow. As we can see that our workflow is valid. Now we are ready to run our session. As we can see here, our session has succeeded. We can verify the rows in the target file. As you can see here, these are the rows fetched from MongoDB table. This was the example of a sample mapping to read data from MongoDB source. Thank you for watching this video. We'd love to hear from you. Please send us your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at https twitter.com slash informatica support. Thank you.